guys, welcome back for another video. We are back with Sweet Pea's eight and nine month update. She will be she will be ten months on the 18th of this month. So I'm just gonna be going over some of the things that she did during her um, eight and nine months. Okay. So I have notes written down. As you guys can see, she does not want to be held. That's why I am on the floor. Um, but I do want you guys to see her. Look at her hair. Isn't it the cutest? She's able to get two ponytails. I've also did three ponytails. So, um, I do have notes written down so I can go over it with you guys. So, say hi. There you go. Say hi. Okay, so I'm just going to put her down and if she want to come back, I'll, um, I'll get her again, okay? So, let me get my phone so I can go over, you know, some things with you guys. Okay, so she has no new teeth. She only has the two at the top and the two at the bottom. I'm sure you guys can hear she's right beside the camera, so I hope it's not um, too loud for you guys. So, no two teeth, no new teeth. We are brushing the ones that she has. Um, she has a little toothbrush with a special toothpaste for babies, of course. Um, she uses the furniture to walk back and forth. I did want to elaborate what I meant when I say she walks on her flat feet. That means she's not standing on her tiptoes. Um, she's just walking just like we would walk, okay? Uh, so she uses the furniture to walk back and forth, and she does walk um, holding my hand. Like if I hold her hand, she will walk, okay? Um, she says, Mama. She says, Dad, Dad, Bye, Bye, and Bye, Bye. Um, she said, Dad, Dad, first. My husband wanted me to mention that she said, Dad, Dad, first. So she said, Dad, Dad, first. Um, let's see, what else? She waves hi, and she waves bye. The doctor said we could start introducing her to, sorry, she's right there. The doctor said we could start introducing her um, to finger food, so um, she's trying to climb the steps. Let me show you guys. Don't worry, we're right here beside her, even though you can't see nobody. Come here. Come here, sweet pea. Yes. Yeah, so as you guys can see, she's all over the place, so... Um, she, my doctor said, well, her doctor said we could start introducing her to finger food. So we give her a little small piece of the pasta, um, bananas. Uh, we've tried strawberries. She doesn't like strawberries. She's very um, picky when it comes to textures. She doesn't like mush, mush. She'll eat her baby food, but for some reason she doesn't like, um, uh, well, I guess maybe it's not the textures, because I'm thinking with a strawberry, those are kind of firm. But anyway, um, she can be very particular. We give her small, small pieces of chicken as well. Um, like I said, she still eats her baby food, and I still sometimes make her baby food, but I usually um, buy her baby food. She doesn't like green peas. That's the only thing that I've run across that she does not like other than her strawberries. Those are the only two things that she doesn't like. Everything else that she's tried, she likes it. Uh, she does really good with it. So I'm trying to start early with her in the vegetables because my other, well, my, my son doesn't like vegetables. And that's because I wasn't as good um, feeding it to him when he was a baby and consistently. But I feel like when you give it to him early, they get used to it and, you know, they eat it. So she loves carrots. Um, let's see. She loves reading and people reading to her. Um, we are reading this little book, Where's Baby's Belly Button? And it just tells her the parts and it has a little flap where you flap it and they tell you um, all her body parts. We go over her eyes. I go over her nose with her, her ears and her lips. Um, what else? She's coming back. Oh, she, um, we were having a lot of issues with her skin and that's been since she was a baby. Come here. Come here. So that's been since she was a baby with her skin. Um, the doctor said it was a mild case of eczema. Say hi, sweet pea. Say hi, everyone. Say, I'm getting big and I don't want to stay still. Say, I refuse. Say, I refuse to stay still. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, like I said, she does have the eczema, and I've been putting baby Aveeno still on that, and that seems to help when I do it um, consistently. And I think that's about it. I do have a hair care routine for her. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I do have a hair routine for her and I'm going to do a separate video on the products that I use and then I'm also going to do a separate video on me actually doing her um, her curly hair. So yeah, I think that's about it. I wanted to make this video quick and she just don't want to do She does this. Look at her. No, no. Okay. All right. You can get down. Yeah, she, she does all of that. So I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I will see you guys um, in a month. Bye. And me, 100% human hair clip-ins. Um, they do have two different kinds. They have the Silk Touch as well as the Royal Remy. Both of them are made with 100% human.